up guys welcome back so today we're jumping into a video that I kind of didn't know if I was going to bring out or not because um, a lot of Kingdom Hearts YouTubers actually covered it but where I'm falling into with this video I figured I'd touch on it so apparently we're not gonna be seeing anything for Kingdom Hearts in a quite a long time it's gonna be until about 2022 and that year it will be the 20th anniversary for Kingdom Hearts so Nomura was basically saying that we're not going to be seeing anything or hearing anything until that time period. Um, I'm thinking maybe we will get an announcement to maybe the in-between game. Because technically, uh, Melody of Memory is not the in-between game to Kingdom Hearts 3 and 4. There's actually supposed to be another title in there that we will be getting. Um, maybe we might get an announcement to Kingdom Hearts 4. Because they like to announce Kingdom Hearts games and bring it out 10 years later. Um, but we might, you know, see something like that. But where this video is going, like, right now is... Last night, me and Shayna were watching um, Mulan. So she, she, we went out and she got me Mulan on... Uh, this is like the Target... I buy all the Target exclusive uh, Disney movies because they come with like... Um, they actually come with like an art book in here. So I like to grab all of them at Target because plus it's really cool. Like I like I like how they have them at Target. But um we we're watching it and I was like, man, I really like this movie because it's kind of funny because I'm not a really big uh huge like like a huge Mulan fan. Like I do like Mulan. I did like the movie when it came out, like on you know, a cartoon. But I, I didn't watch it multiple times or anything like that. It was just one of them Disney movies I had to watch it one time and really like it. But I just didn't never went back to. I would watch this live action one multiple times. It's actually pretty good. It's really pretty good. Um, so I was thinking about how... Uh, actually, me and Shay were talking about it. Um, they already showed that they can pull realistic graphics in these titles now so i just got a kingdom hearts melody memory update they're updating the game yes okay maybe they can fix the timing on my shit because that shit is definitely janky um sorry but <laughs> we we can see like we've seen in kingdom hearts 3 that they literally can make a realistic game like we we went to pirates of the caribbean and oh my god the graphics were ridiculous i was like holy shit why isn't the rest of the game just look like this and i uh, i thought like okay well they got to keep it up with the pixar look and then when they went to that world of course you know they can just make it realistic looking because it's a it's a you know a live action movie so what if okay just just for shits and giggles here what if in Kingdom Hearts 4, because I, I really feel like a lot of people thought that Kingdom Hearts 4 would be all just Final Fantasy, because we got no Final Fantasy basically in 3, except for like Remind, and that technically really didn't count, but it kind of counted. It's kind of weird. Um, so, what if we, because I, I can't see them not bringing us to Disney World, because it's it's Kingdom Hearts. Like, it, it, it's just as much as Disney as it is Final Fantasy. Um, what if we go back to worlds that we've been to? Say, I don't know, Beauty and the Beast. Um, Mulan. Mulan's one. Um, by the time that the game releases, I'm pretty sure that um, we'll see a Little Mermaid remake somewhere down the line. Um, although I heard some things about that might not be happening right now i don't know what's going on with that um but you got little mermaid lion king we've been to lion king before um just a bunch of these ones that we've already had remastered in live action form like you know mulan and beauty and the beast and what they're all worlds that we've been to so what if just what if what if we go back to these worlds in Kingdom Hearts 4, but they're all in this form? I think that that would be cool as shit. I actually think that it'll show how graphically they can make this game. Of course, now we're on, like, next-gen systems. Of course, I'm still on my 
my Kingdom Hearts 3 PlayStation 4 because PlayStation 5s are like, you know, like the gold of the earth right now. Um, but by the time that we all, by the time Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, we're all going to have a, P, uh, a PS6 probably. But what I'm saying is we're all like into this next generation of games. So they could do much, much more than they could do with the PS4. And then load times are way better. It, it's crazy. So, I, I don't know. I, I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that we have a possibility to see live action versions of these worlds in Kingdom Hearts? Now that we've seen that they can do, like, basically live action graphics in the games? Because I know when you guys played Kingdom Hearts 3 and you went to the Caribbean. I know you guys shit bricks. Because when I seen that world, I said, holy Shit, even in the trailers, when they showed the trailers and we saw Pirates of the Caribbean, I was like, wow, this shit is amazing looking. I didn't think that the game was going to look exactly like that. That is crazy, and I think that with the next-gen consoles, they can really pull off a lot better by the time the game actually releases. Now, for the other in-between title, I don't know what that could possibly be. That might be how we, I guess, pull Sora out of Aram Rex. Maybe Varum Rex is like the next thing that we see in Kingdom Hearts 4. Actually, I kind of, I kind of actually think that's what's going to happen in Kingdom Hearts 4 most likely. Because technically, if you go by the way the games play, right? So Kingdom Hearts 1, at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, you actually fight Xemnas at the end there. Like, like if you're playing the remix version, you're fighting Xemnas. That's like your big secret battle at the end of the game. At the end of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, where you just fight Marluxia. But I, I don't know if there's really any secret bosses in Chain of Memories that I can possibly think of. I'm pretty sure there probably is, but I really never really chased it down to find it. But we fight Marluxia there. So then when you play Kingdom Hearts 2... When you play Kingdom Hearts 2, shit, we got Birth by Sleep too, right? So you got Birth by Sleep, and what's the secret boss there? I think that's like in that... Alright, the... let's just talk about the main titles, okay? <laughs> let's talk the... just the main titles. So, one, we had Zenith. Two, you have Lingering Will. You have Lingering Will in two, but... He ends up working with you in 3. But, see, he comes back, you know, like, in 3, you know, Terra. So, um, so he's still there, but you're not fighting him there. Um, but he makes a big thing. So, at the end of 3, we got, um, well, actually, at the end of 3, we didn't get shit. We got that, that weird Heartless. But, um, at the end of Remind, we actually got, um, Yozora from Varum Rex. So, I'm almost certain that we're going to see Yozora and all that stuff happening in Kingdom Hearts 4. And then something else is going to come in between 3 and 4 that's going to tie in how they get to the place that they need to go. Which is like this, uh, what, what do they call it? A world of, uh, fiction? <laughs> A world of fiction. Because you have the world of, uh, of realism and then you have the world of, of fiction. They just jump in across all kinds of shit now. And I love every bit of it to death. Um, but, yeah. I wonder what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys think that we are going to actually see live action versions of the worlds that we've already been to? Because I think that would be actually a smart thing for them to do. Because they could show how well they can do this, you know, series graphically. And I would just test that if I was them. I, I would honestly just test it out if I was square. I'd be like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take the stuff and just make, make you know, all the live action stuff and see where it goes with that. So, I hate you sometimes. Like, <laughs> Shay literally just opens the door and just stares at you when you're making a video. And she can hear me making the video, but she just knows that she has to creep in here and just corrupt everything. Isn't that how it is? How it is? I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Get out. Okay, so... I just wanted Harley to be in the video. Oh, no, you don't need Harley in this video. Harley can stay out there, because she is 
corruption too. So just tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to give this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the Wayfinders Unit Cross Groups, you can hit us up in the Discord link down below to the Wayfinders Discord. And once you're in there, we can set you up in one of our groups. And if you don't play Unit Cross or anything like that, that's fine. You can still join, make friends, and talk about Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts down there. Um, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, um, I prefer Instagram more because that's what I'm mainly on. I'm barely on Twitter. Uh, but if you do want to look me up, just look me up, Void Gear Vanitas, and I should pop up. Um, I do a lot of different things on Instagram. Like, sometimes I'll ask questions to you guys just to see what you guys think about a certain topic and if I should make videos on it. And a lot of times, you know, I also put up, like, hey, should I pull for this in Union Cross? Um, and if you guys say yes or no, that kind of, you know, determines if I'm making a video for you guys or not on that specific banner or whatever. So just keep that in mind if, you know, that's your thing. But, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.